Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Day, the 25th day of December 2023. The Stay Weather Podcast brought to you by Hot Springs County Travel and Tourism, reminding you that as temperatures get colder and snow is on the horizon at Thermopolis, you can always find yourself in hot water. Well, thought we would do a special weather update on this Christmas morning because that storm, which has been giving us numerous headaches, as anybody who's been watching this podcast over the last week, you know how difficult the storm has been to try to nail down. Now it's rearing its ugly head, causing a lot of winter weather over the next 24 to 48 hours over portions of the western high plains. But especially, as you can see there with all the red, all those red areas you see are blizzard warnings with winter storm watches and warnings on the blue edges there. And the pink areas and those purple areas, also winter weather advisories, those purple areas for an ice storm stretching up into portions of North Dakota there. We're going to see the storm really blow up and intensify over the next 24 hours. Blizzard conditions for South Dakota, Nebraska, extreme eastern Wyoming, extreme northeastern Colorado. As you can see, also, I don't want to forget Kansas, north central and northwest Kansas getting into the act as well. And you can see where all the blue is. This is where the winter storm is really going to be taking aim. We're going to have a lot of wind on the back side of this system, which is going to cause a lot of blowing snow, dangerous livestock and travel conditions in those areas that you see highlighted today, tonight, and tomorrow. Now, for you folks who are watching along and west of the divide, you're just not going to see any weather. You get basically along and west of this line, the storm is not going to impact you. But east of the divide, especially where you see these watches and warnings, this is where you want to watch out for. The satellite imagery this morning shows that even though the center of the low, as we'll show you, is right here, all of the weather so far is on the east side of it. This is Gulf of Mexico moisture getting drawn into the storm. Now, behind this first wave that came in Saturday night and Sunday, there was a lot of dry air behind it. So that's why, even though we've got this deep storm here, there's very little weather back here because the air is so dry. But as the storm matures, as it intensifies this morning, right over, oh, just between Lyman and Burlington, Colorado. As it intensifies and heads east, we are going to see this storm really tap into that Gulf of Mexico and wrap it back. So the moisture increases all the way into the eastern counties of Wyoming, northeastern Colorado, and northwest Kansas, with the storm just really raging into this area here in terms of blizzard conditions as cold Canadian air is getting drawn into the system. And there you can see the snow forecast for this storm system. So notice it's now got tentacles reaching into the Black Hills, into the Pine Ridge of Nebraska, into places like Lusk, into northern areas of Goshen County, Niobrara County, maybe all the way getting into Cheyenne, back to Laramie, west of Laramie, and then uh, you can see into parts of northeastern Colorado and the mountains of north central Colorado. The real heavy part of this storm, as you can see here, is centered on the central and south central counties of South Dakota. Look at Nebraska really getting into the action here. The pink areas where the snow will be the heaviest. Now you may be asking why are these east west areas showing up with very little in between them? Well, that's because of the east to west mountains or ridges. So you've got the Black Hills here. The north winds coming in on the back side of the storm are upslope into places like the Black Hills, but downslope on the south end of the Black Hills. Upslope winds from the north into the Pine Ridge. Then downsloping winds into the Platte Valley from near Torrington to Scotts Bluff. Then uphill winds again to the Cheyenne Ridge the higher terrain near the Colorado-Wyoming border, then downsloping below it. So that's why you see these fingers or these tendrils on the far western edge of the storm, while the heart of the storm where the downsloping and the upsloping is not much of a factor is where the heart of the heaviest snow is going to be here. So this is going to cause a whole bunch of problems, especially late today, overnight tonight, and throughout the course of the day Tuesday in those areas, very little along and west of the divide. The wind is going to be a real problem. Strong winds. Look at these strong winds here in southeastern Wyoming, the southern Nebraska panhandle. But this is where you're going to have blizzard situations. It's very strong wind gusts between now and early Wednesday until the storm pulls away. Have a very Merry Christmas. Hope you stay warm. 
and hope you can avoid that blizzard situation in the plains. Conditions really are not going to get better till Wednesday in those areas. We'll see you tomorrow with an update.